what's up guys so i hope you liked that clip that you just saw it was a cool b-roll of what we did with cereal pretty simple but it was very complex so we're going to show you the behind the scenes now of what it took to actually do that video you just saw all right so basically whenever you're doing stuff like this you never want to use just one product you have multiple so we had a couple of bowls we have the actual cereal boxes we have a couple of them just in case we mess up with one we have a second one Make sure you have your cleaning supplies, everything. So just make sure you have doubles, maybe triples of things because once you open up a package, you're done. What we have right here in the background because we wanted to mix in the actual yellow from the Reese's Puffs, we use a yellow background. We have a sound blanket over here. We have some soundproofing as far as for our studio and we got a bunch of lights everywhere. Now, let me just show you the actual lights. We have our overhead lights. We have these two over here that we can actually turn around and move. And the reason we have those up there is for our background, we could play around with my actual hair light, or if there's too much light hitting the background, we could always adjust that. We have one light over here, and this is basically so we could actually not get that burn effect on that side and not get the hot spot in the center. So we actually could move this however we want, that way it's an even lighting. We have our fill light all the way back here, that way it just lights up the entire scene. Still has a diffuser in front of it, but that way if we take it away, it makes a big difference. Once we put it back in there, it literally lights up those little dark areas that you don't wanna have. As far as your table, I mean, we pretty much rigged this. This is our makeup table, and we actually put this piece on the top and just made it look cool. So you could actually make anything that you want, just kind of fake it because you're always gonna be shooting very tight in those areas. Now again, you see the entire background, but when we're actually shooting, we're shooting so tight that you can't even see it. So never worry about your surroundings and make everything perfect because you're always gonna be cutting in tight. So you didn't see all these lights that we had there in that video, but now we actually pan out and you actually see it, you're gonna see everything that we have in this location. Yo, what's up guys? My name is Julian and I was the one behind the camera in this video. So what I'm gonna do right now is just give you a quick breakdown of the clips that we got and how we shot them. So let's just go ahead and get into the first clip. Okay, so the establishing shot that we got for this video was Javier walking into frame. We managed to get this shot on a slider. We were using an Edel Crone slider that Javier let us borrow. Pretty simple shot. We slide from camera right, we go left, and Javier just gets to the center of the table and smacks the cereal onto the table. Pretty simple, so let's go on to the next one. Shot number two, we start to see a little bit of that slow motion. This is just an overhead shot of Javier opening that cereal bag. The way I accomplished this shot, it wasn't anything as you expect. I didn't have an overhead rig at my availability. So all I did was just stand on the stool and pull the camera up as Javier opened that bag. Going into the fourth shot, we introduced the cereal bowl. And for this shot, it was all shot handheld. So pretty much what we did here was we tracked Javier slotting the cereal bowl down until he got to the cereal bag. As soon as he gets to that cereal bag, we just follow his motion as he pours it into the bag. Now in doing this, it allows us to get into a very cool transition where we go past the table and then we see the cereal falling on top of us from the cereal bowl's perspective, as you might call it. And this shot was really accomplished by just placing the GoPro inside of the cereal bowl and letting that cereal fall on top of it. So for the next following shots of the introduction of the milk, for the first shot, Javier slid that milk into place and we didn't have to rack focus anything. All we did here was just set our focus point to the spot where Javier was going to extend that milk. And then that's how we got that shot. The next shot of Javier opening that bottle cap, again, we just tracked that motion of his hand opening the cap. And then we go into the milk pour. Now this was shot at 120 frames per second. And we did use that El Crone slider on this one. All right, so the next few shots, they were pretty simple. We just had an overhead shot of the milk falling into the cereal. And then we had the shot of Javier pulling out the spoon. Now for the final shot, we use the Edelkron slider again. And what we did here is that we just pulled out of Javier eating that cereal and it just gave it a nice feel. And that was pretty much the end of the sequence. So I hope you guys liked that clip. Uh, I wanna thank Julian, he kicked ass with the video. It was really cool. So we're gonna have a lot more of these behind the scenes and check this out on the next one. Make sure to subscribe, comment, let us know what you thought. So do it all at the bottom guys, thank you.